In this video, we will discuss the structure of graphene follicle. Now we know that in the transverse section of an ovary, we saw primary follicles, secondary follicles, which were in their stage of development. Finally, in one month, one graphene follicle is formed. The structure of graphene follicle is as shown in this diagram and we will discuss it here. In the structure of graphene follicle, the egg or ovum is present in the central part of the graphene follicle and it is present in its secondary oocyte stage. The egg or ovum which is in its secondary oocyte stage is surrounded by a layer of cells which are called the discus prolegerus. The layer of cells is known by the name of discus prolegerus. Outside discus prolegerus, there is a cavity which is known as antrum. Antrum is not empty. It is filled with a liquid which is called liquor folliculi. On the outside of graphene follicle, there are a layer of cells which form membrana granulosa. Membrana granulosa has two layers that is theca externa and theca interna. Theca externa is present on the outer side and theca interna is present on the inner side. Towards one end of the graphene follicle, we can see a layer of cells which form the germ hill or cumulus euphorus. With the help of these cells, the secondary oocyte and discus prolegerus, they are in a way suspended inside the graphene follicle. Means secondary oocyte and discus prolegerus, they hang in this cavity that is antrum with the help of this germ hill. This is all about the structure of graphene follicle and now we must define here what is ovulation. Ovulation means release of secondary oocyte from the graphene follicle. This secondary oocyte which is present in the central part of graphene follicle is released from this graphene follicle every month. Release of this secondary oocyte from this big structure that is graphene follicle is known as ovulation. Further, after the release of secondary oocyte, the graphene follicle becomes empty. Now this empty graphene follicle is known by the name of corpus luteum and the word this uh, denotes a yellowish body. Corpus luteum is a yellow body and it acts as a temporary endocrine gland in case of females. This corpus luteum which acts as a temporary endocrine gland so it must secrete some hormone and the hormone which is secreted by corpus luteum is progesterone. We must mention here that the secondary oocyte if released from the graphene follicle will enter into its next phase if it receives the sperm means the union of sperm and secondary oocyte will result in the formation of zygote and this phenomena is known as fertilization but if secondary but if uh, secondary oocyte does not receive any sperm then it will de degenerate corpus luteum further is known by another name if it is not required. The name is corpus albicans. Corpus albicans is degenerated corpus luteum. Corpus albicans is degenerated corpus luteum. Every month, one egg is released in a period of 28 to 30 days. Means every month, 
this secondary oocyte comes out of this graphene follicle and is released if it does not receive the sperm but if it receives the sperm it will undergo further development graphene follicle is named so because it was discovered by a scientist named Rainier D. Graf so the word graphene is derived from the last word of Rainier D. Graf after discussing the structure of uh, graphene follicle we will move to the structure of ovum exactly structure of ovum structure of human ovum or egg human ovum or egg is a unicellular structure having a nucleus in the center the entire structure has cytoplasm which is known as ooplasm also there is a covering known as plasma membrane just outside um, just outside the cytoplasm also ovum has two poles one pole is the animal pole and the another pole is the vegetal pole from the outside there are a layer of cells which are known as which are known by the name of follicular cells of corona radiata there are a number of cells which are the follicular cells of corona radiata just inner to these corona radiata cells there is a layer which is known by the name of zp or zona pellucida zona pellucida functions in a way that it blocks the entry of multiple sperms inside the cytoplasm of the egg further there are a large number of structures which are known by the name of cortical granules present in the cytoplasm of the egg moreover the human egg is non cladoic egg non cladoic egg is an egg without any shell so we cannot see any shell in the structure of ovum or human egg that means that the human egg is non cladoic without any shell now the eggs of other animals like birds etc they have shells on from the outer outer side such eggs are known as cladoic eggs but the human egg is non cladoic egg further if we talk about the yolk content there is no yolk inside the human egg and the term used here is alacetal so human egg is without any yolk and it means that human egg or ovum is alacetal 